Hey guys, what's up? Uh, so today is January 2nd, 2014, uh, and I'm going to be making a quick binder review uh, for you guys. Um, I have three different kinds uh, that I'm going to be talking about because um, I feel like there's not a ton of comparison videos out there and it might be helpful um, for you if you are able to kind of look at them side by side and like pros and cons, what do I like in comparison, so it's more of like a relative judgment rather than just, well I liked this one but I haven't really tried this one either. So. Um, yeah, so I'm going to talk a little bit about all three. Yeah, so it's important though to keep in mind um, that as I'm talking about this stuff, this is from my personal experience and my perspective, um, and it might be completely different than someone else's because, for example, there are just so many different body types um, that if you have a different body type, your experience with it is probably going to be different than mine because they're not tailored for like one type of body and then like another one's for this kind of body. Like, there's some that work better with your type of body, perhaps, but like for me, this is just coming from my perspective. And my perspective is a five foot eight, 160 pound person that has, if I was to wear like a normal, or not normal, if I was to wear like a bra, like girl measurements, whatever, it'd probably be somewhere in like a bigger A or medium A, I don't know, somewhere kind of in there. Um, and so my experience with that's going to be obviously different than someone who's five foot two and has like a D cup size or something. Um, so what works for me might not work for you and vice versa uh, and that's okay. But I just kind of want to give a little bit of general perspective and my experience with it uh, as well. So let's get started. So the first one I'm going to be discussing today is the Underworks Tri Top. This was my second binder actually. Uh, it's called a Tri Top because the front layer right here has three different layers of um, material so that it, it's Tri, three, you know, compressing here and the front. Um, it's made of this, like, I don't know, nylon-y weird material. You can kind of, it's kind of see-through, as you can see. So, it's made really, really well. Uh, no complaints about that. Like, I can take it and just pull as hard as I want, and it's not gonna rip. It's not gonna do anything. It's built like a truck. Um, I've had this one the longest. Like I said, it's my second binder. Uh, the first one I had was from Underworks as well. It was the Ultimate compression tank or something. I really didn't like that one. Uh, it didn't work for my body at all. So I ordered this one uh, because I'd heard a lot of really good reviews about it. So I went ahead and gave it a try. Uh, and it worked and I have no complaints about the uh, the aesthetic look that it gives. I definitely, um, as you can see from the picture, um, it's definitely not bad. Uh, it doesn't make me look like visibly weird in any way. It doesn't, I don't know. Um, most of my complaints about it are the comfort, but I'll, I'll try and stick to the pros first. Um, so like I said, it's built super, super well. Um, it's pretty cheap. It's like 30, 35 bucks. Um, the shipping was really fast. Got it within a week, week and a half, I think. Probably a week and a half, I want to say. Uh, great communication. Uh, the company has a really good reputation. A lot of trans guys use their products, swear by them, and that's awesome. Um, and uh, I haven't tried more than two of their products, um, so my opinion's, you know, probably a little less valid than someone who's tried out, like, four or five different types of Underworks binders and whatever. They know what they're talking about, um, and that's fine. But yeah, so it binds pretty well, um, so those, that's pretty much the pros for me. Uh, it's cheap, and it binds aesthetically very well. Oh, and it's, uh, it ships fast, and I had a pretty good experience with the company as well. The, uh, the negatives for this one, it is not comfortable at all. This one is impossible to get over your head, at least for me, and I've heard a lot of people say that. Like, getting it over your head is okay until you get it here. Then you're pulling and pulling and pulling. Half the time I have to have my girlfriend help me, like, babe, I'm stuck again, come get me, come rescue me, until she does and pulls it down. But, uh, it's really hard to get on, uh, without a doubt. Uh, it's really, really tight. Um, now with all of these, all three that I'm reviewing, I really would strongly recommend getting the size that their measurements tell you to get. It's really tempting to look at it and be like, well, it says this is for 32 to 36, but, um, I'm like a 37, so I can go down, right? I wouldn't do it, and that's not really a realistic measurement because a five inch difference is huge, but that aside, would not do that, would not recommend that at all because these are designed for, like, to do what they're supposed to do. These are not like compression shirts where if you want to go out and get a workout compression shirt that's like a youth medium, which I've done, that's fine because it's a compression shirt. These are binders. These are made to bind your chest. You don't want to get something that is going to create more compression than is necessary because it really can hurt you. And on top of that, it can actually backfire on you if you get too small and not just in a medical way, but it can actually like make you look more pronounced in your chest area, which is obviously not what you want. 
um, than, than if you just got the size you were supposed to get. Uh, so I wear a small in these. That's what I ordered. Um, that's what fit me. Um, but yeah, it really was not comfortable for me. The worst part about it was that it cut into my armpits uh, after a few hours. Uh, I actually kind of rubbed my, like, right here, I rubbed this bra because it was so bad. Uh, the seams and the underarms are really not comfortable. Um, I started having breathing problems because it was so tight. Um, and I was wearing it at least eight hours a day. And I realized a lot of people say like, don't mind more than eight hours a day. The problem for me is that I work eight hours, which doesn't include my lunch, which doesn't include the half hour commute. Like there's a lot of things. If I, even if I took it, put it on the second when I left the house and took it off the second when I got home, it's still going to be probably closer to 10 hours when all is said and done. And that's just the reality of how my life is. And I know I'm not the only one out there that has that. So as much as I would like to keep it under eight hours, it just doesn't always happen. And that's, that's just kind of how things are for me. Uh, so yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, like I said, not the most comfortable, definitely durable, um, good company to go by. Uh, don't have any complaints about the aesthetic look. The only, uh, the only aesthetic thing that I don't like about it is that when you put it on right about here, your fat just kind of puffs up and it looks really, really weird. Uh, I put it on and I like here just kept it real nice and tight, felt, felt great other than the armpits and other than like the scratchy scratchiness in the material, but it puffed up like the extra tissue up in my chest and it pushed it up high. And so it looked kind of odd. So it looked like my pec muscles started like up here. Didn't really look the best. Um, so I went ahead and, um, put it like a tank top over and then I would wear a, a t-shirt over that and it, it looked okay. Uh, and that definitely worked fine. Um, so yeah, so that's the underworks one. Uh, the next one I'm going to talk about is the, uh, it's called the Les Love Boat. Uh, high performance Velcro short, I believe. Um, you can't see it very well, but uh, this one is a Velcro binder. It does not just pull over your head like the Underworks one. Um, so the way this one goes on, it's really weird because the tag actually is supposed to face out. Uh, that threw me for a while. So you just gonna put it over your head like this, um, reach around, and then I'm wearing a black shirt, so you can't really see. But then it just Velcro's there. Uh, I love the material on this. Most comfortable thing ever absolutely like just super soft uh like i can rub my face along all day it just it feels so nice uh yeah so no complaints about that real nice and stretchy really well made um the velcro on it's pretty great uh haven't had any issues had it for a few months wore it, wore it every day uh and the velcro is holding up nicely um the thing that i really like about this is that you can really adjust uh, yourself so that it looks the best it can possibly look. So when you put it on, you can Velcro it to the side, Velcro it a little bit more on an angle if you need to, whatever, so you can really get it to fit your body, fit what's comfortable and fit what looks the best. Um, that's definitely a huge pro to that. It looks great. The only thing, like I said, with the Underworks one, uh, along with that, it also kind of gives that weird fatty impression, but you're able to manage it better than you are with the Underworks one, in my personal opinion. Super, super comfortable. I can wear this for 14, 16 hours a day I have, and it it's not it's, it's as comfortable as binding your chest is going to be obviously like it's not going to be as comfortable as if you don't have to wear one for example but that's not the reality um and so the reality of binding is that this is probably the most comfortable one that i've owned it doesn't have the same amount of compression but it kind of stops it so like it keeps it and it doesn't let it go like any bigger but it also doesn't compress you when you breathe in which is a comfort thing for me uh it's really nice i definitely really like it especially in comparison to this one where as you can see here, it's really not that wide. So like, it it's just constantly like pulling you in. Where this one, once it's on, it doesn't let you expand past a certain point, but it doesn't really pull you in too much when you breathe. And I personally like that a lot. Um, like I said, the, the, the thing with the fat up here, it's weird. And when you put it on, I, I spent, it was 75 bucks. That's, that's another huge drawback on this. And the shipping time was long. It was like three weeks plus. Uh, didn't get the best, I didn't get the best vibe as far as communications. My, like, shipping number was weird. It never really showed up. Couldn't ever figure out where the package was actually at until it just showed up at my door one day. Um, but, you know, as far as the binder itself, um, whatever. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, no complaints about it, um, at, at all, I guess, about that. Um, oh, I know what I was saying. Okay. Yeah, but anyways, so when you put it on, um, I put it on, it's like $75 binder, put it on, and I got super excited, I was like, yeah, this is gonna be great, read some awesome reviews about it, put it on, and my chest looked lumpy, and I was like, you have to be kidding me, I just spent $75 on this, like, that is so much money. 
yeah, so it looks lumpy. Uh, it looks really weird. It looks like your chest is like doing the wave, or mine did at least, and I was not happy. And that was also before I learned how to adjust it, but even when it's adjusted, it does look like there's like a weird divot in your chest, and you think, oh my god, this is going to be so noticeable. It's really not. As soon as you put a tank top on, put a shirt on, you can't even tell. Now, if you're wearing a skin-tight shirt, you might be able to tell, but as long as there's like even a, a remotely decent amount of give, like in the shirt, it's not like fitted it's it's fitted but it's not tight so like even with that it looks totally fine not a problem uh even a thin shirt you can get away with that as long as you probably have some kind of undershirt underneath it um and that's just a comfort thing for me i wear it under whatever binder i have even if it's not necessary to do that i just feel more comfortable and i think it flattens my body out uh, and it makes it look a little bit more aesthetically uh natural um but yeah so compared to the underworks one absolute like night and day love this thing it's great but it's 75 dollars uh and that is the huge drawback and the shipping time and all of that and, and as far as communication from the company i just it didn't feel like i had the best experience but it wasn't horrible either because they got me the product and it's an international shipping so it's gonna take a little bit longer um but yeah overall i'm thrilled with the binder itself it's absolutely great um definitely would recommend it um yeah so okay so the third one i have i'm actually wearing right now so i can't hold it up but uh you can kind of see I have the uh, new GC2B uh, half shirt or half uh, compression tank. Uh, they make a full length one as well, uh, but I don't. I don't like having something all the way down, so I just went uh, for the half length. I personally would not recommend getting white. Like you, as you can see from this, it's not just the lighting; it is dingy colored. That's also because I throw my stuff in together. I throw clothes all together and just pile it in the laundry and go. And it's not a good thing. Would not recommend doing that. But that's kind of my life. Now, with the Underworks and the Les Love Boat one, I would definitely not recommend drying it. I did with both, and they shrunk drastically, and it. Took some, it took some time for it to stretch back out. With this one, you can toss it in the washer dryer and I didn't have a problem with it. So as far as this one goes, awesome. Absolutely awesome. Um, it, it doesn't have Velcro, so it is a pullover. But getting it over your head, I can actually do it alone, which is awesome because I don't want to constantly be like, babe, dig me out of this again. So yeah, pull it over your head and go. Uh, this does not take adjustment. Like with my Underworks one, I was constantly fiddling with it. With my Love Boat one, awesome once you're done fiddling but you kind of have to fiddle with it with this one you just toss it on and go like maybe a little bit quick adjustment and out the door it's great i uh, really love it the material is awesome um if this material here the Les boat uh, the Lo Les love boat one if that's a like 10 out of 10 because it's really really nice this is probably like a 9 9.5 the only difference is that the inside is a little bit uh it's not quite as soft as the outside but it's definitely not uncomfortable and it's nowhere near this this is like a 2 on a scale of 10 as far as comfort uh, of material so this one's great um binds really well as far as out of the gate aesthetically pleasing this one rocks uh you throw a shirt on and you're fine like i don't even need to wear a tank top under it like i said for me personally i do because i think it kind of evens out lines a little bit but you know you don't have to with this one you definitely don't have to and that's that's definitely a relief for me it's really comfortable i can wear this thing for eight plus hours and it doesn't hurt it doesn't make me feel like i'm dying it doesn't make me feel like i'm gonna have a panic attack um and that's a, a big deal um because I struggle with anxiety a lot, and so feeling like I'm being compressed for 10 hours a day definitely does not help that. But yeah, I definitely recommend it. And the best part about this one is that it's like 35 bucks, and it's shipped within a week. I ordered it the day after Christmas, and it got here before New Year's, and so that was under a week shipping. Uh, and even with the holidays, they got it to me that fast. Uh, I was definitely on the fence at first about buying one, because I was like, oh, it's another 30 bucks. Then, um, they had a promo where you gave them a shout-out on Instagram, and they gave you like a 15% off code, um... And so that pushed me over the edge, and I was like, yep, definitely going to go ahead and get that. Uh, and I, I have no regrets about it. It's awesome. For uh, this one, I definitely would have recommended the Love Boat one. If you had $75 to spend, I would have said it's it's worth it because you can breathe, and it's comfortable, and it's soft, and it's durable, and it's great. Now I would say spend $35, get the GC2B because it's great. Um, and the best part about it, here's the best part, on top of the great shipping, the great price, the great aesthetic look, the softness, the everything about it, basically... Um, the best part about it for me is that you don't get those weird fatty things like up, up here. It doesn't it doesn't do that. It's uh, it just straight. It's flat. It, it makes it look uh, like a natural male chest without any real adjustment. And it's great. If you've got any questions, uh, feel free to hit me up on uh, here or on uh, Instagram. Same username, Lucky Panda Cub. So uh, I'd be more than happy to give you guys a little bit more detail if you feel like I missed something or you want to know something specific. Uh, other than that, I'm... Um, that's pretty much all I got for you, so hope you guys are having a good day. Peace out.